It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to write a real-world inequality to represent going shopping for cashews and walnuts. Here's our question today. A student has $25 to buy walnuts and cashews. The walnuts cost $5 per pound. The cashews cost $7 per pound. The student will buy three pounds of walnuts. And then we are asked which of the following inequalities can be used to find C, the possible number of pounds of cashews that the student can buy. And you give them four inequalities to pick from. Here's where I would like you to pause the video, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. We are going to determine which of these four inequalities can be used to find C, the number of cashews that the student can buy, given this information. So we know that the student has $25 to buy walnuts and cashews. So let's write a word sentence. Walnuts plus cashews, and then we know that it has to be less than or equal to $25. He can't spend more, they cannot spend more because they only have 25. So it can be equal to 25, but it cannot be greater than 25. He does not have a month, or she does not have enough money. So now let's look at our answer choices. We know that we can eliminate answer choice A because it is greater than or equal to 25. There's not enough money. And then we can also eliminate answer choice C because that is also greater than or equal to 25. So just looking at this first sentence and writing a, something visual to look at, we can eliminate two answer choices. Let's look at the rest of the information provided. We know that walnuts cost $5 per pound, and in this third statement, the student bought three pounds of walnuts. So three pounds of walnuts times $5 per pound is going to mean that the student spent $15 on walnuts. So we can replace walnuts here with 15. And then we've got to go and look at the information about cashews. So $15 on cashew, on walnuts, how much money on cashews? Up here it says that cashews cost $7 per pound. So we want to find the number C. We don't know how many pounds that the student bought, but we want to know how many are possible. So C is for cashews and they're $7 per pound. So we know that seven times C, the number of pounds that they bought, will represent the cashews. So this is what we call a variable expression, seeing as we don't know how many pounds of cashews they bought, but we know that it's seven dollars per multiplied by the number of pounds. So here's our inequality. Fifteen dollars for the walnuts plus seven dollars per pound of cashew has to be less than or equal to the twenty-five dollars that the student has. So let's go look at our answer choices. It looks to me like it's answer choice B because 15 plus 7C less than or equal to 25 represents what we have. Let's consider answer choice D. This says 5 plus 7C. So I can see what mistake they made. They said $5 per pound, but that would mean right here that they bought one pound of walnuts, one pound for $5 but we know that they spent $3. So we know answer choice D is not correct, and our correct answer choice here is B, 15 add 7C less than or equal to $25. And there you have it. That is how you write a real world inequality to represent shopping for cashews and walnuts with $25. And that's the magic of math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. Thanks for joining me today and I hope you come back soon.